top right hand corner of daybreak we have our red zerg player from team sev life it is hyun he is down 0-1 at the moment to his opponent in the lower left hand corner from start tail our reigning fight club champion it is squirtle yep so squirtle taking game one against hyun it was uh, a pretty good game actually that was one of the cooler zvps i've seen in a long time I feel like Hyun, you know, he tried something new. He tried something a little bit different, going for that uh, much heavier Hydralisk composition that we see. Although uh, he did go for the drop play, which again, you know, isn't exactly new, but it's still something that's seen slightly less. Didn't work out. Wonder what we're going to see this game. Well, one thing that I really liked out of Hyun last game, though, was that uh -huh. usually when you see that sort of drop play, it works or, oh, I'm dead yeah, because I just lost everything and I'm behind it. It really tech. doesn't work. Um, yeah. But Hyun was able to stick around for such a long time mm -hmm. despite it not panning out as well as he would have liked. He did a second round, which killed a Nexus, and he was able to poke at the third. So yeah. um, I, I certainly like how long he was able to survive, even though he was down quite considerably at one point. Well, the key there is, is although it really does still hurt you if it doesn't end up winning the game, obviously, he had taken a fourth base before he did the drop. So when you've got that much economy coming in, even if the drop doesn't end up working, you're at least usually able to have enough larva and enough money to produce enough units to stay alive. And that's kind of what we saw that game. Um, I, I think the real kind of big messed up there is that he went for Hydralisks rather than Infestors. And I mean, in the matchup right now, Infestors are just playing better. I mean, there's no mm -hmm. other way to say it. It, Hydralisks just have never really found a solid place in StarCraft II yet, and players keep trying to use them, but Infestors are just generally better in nearly every situation. Oh, nice job at Hyun there. He actually sent out two drones like we've been seeing some players do recently. Yep. Just in case a natural doesn't go down, then he can throw one down to the third right away, and he doesn't sacrifice too much. Also know that these games were played on the very most recent patch because I just oh, yes. went to hit Shift-C because uh, effective APM used to be reversed, and yep. uh, no, it's actually correct, and I can just hit M for regular APM. Hooray! Very cool stuff. And uh, if you see, that is a lot. That was 500 a second ago from Hyun. Yeah, Hyun's uh, very, very fast. He was a, a former Broodwar player, and he just plays quick regardless anyway. So that's not too surprising to see that. I, I uh, remember talking to Maro from Sweden quite a bit about APM and Zerg playing things like that back uh, last year. And he was of the opinion that to be a pro Zerg player, you needed at least 200 APM. And that's, you know, when you think about all the injecting, all the creep spreading, and everything you're doing throughout the game as a Zerg player, that seems like a pretty accurate statement. You don't see many top Zerg players or really any top pro Zerg players and I can think of that have less than 200 APM. Yeah, I mean, you can think of some notable examples in the other races. Of course, there's the, the great images of Goody sitting back and sitting yeah. in a cup of tea but as he contemplates his, ne <laughs> his next action and then presses one keystroke. But yes, of then course. there was, uh, oh, who was it just recently? Um, maybe it well, shows Asus always Rock. had rather yeah. low APM was, as well. Was it Elfie, though, or am I thinking of the wrong person? Where uh, I, I believe it was Elfie, where uh, he actually sat back, took his hands off the keyboard, went back, and clicked E for another probe. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I mean, in terms of APM, I, I feel like any race can have IPM and or IPM. What was that? Have high APM. It's Apple's version of APM. I guess no. so. Yeah, they're already there. <laughs> oh no, the the uh, patent, <laughs> patent police are already at my door. Anyway, anyway, um, so yeah, you can have high high APM and make it work for any race. Really, I mean, there is stuff to do as Terran player. Ooh. You know, uh, Major obviously shows us that with his crazy multitasking drop play and insane APM for a Terran. Um, so it's out there, and, and yeah, I know there's all the people right now that APM doesn't really mean anything. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that to a certain extent, too. But it is important to note, I think, kind of the minimum you need to be a top player with each race. You know, there is sort of a goal you should be shooting for if you legitimately want to be a pro. Well, for now, as we can see, uh, Squirtle actually put up a Twilight Council very early on. He's got a lot of gas banked up, I have to say, that my DT sense is tingling. Yeah, man. And You've got uh, one of those too, huh? Yeah, and there it is. That's the, yeah, it's going to be a Dark Shrine. This probe just waiting to put it down. Oh. It's not a secret anymore, probe. Okay. Don't even try to hide the fact. Just wait for those minerals, and there it is. There we are. Yep, and this has, remember we were just saying this, this is becoming more and more common in Zerg versus Protoss right now. The DTs are coming back, man. This is something that uh, Protoss players did a lot in early 2011, and then when Zerg players started switching over to this three hatchery style and uh, just kind of other styles in general, you saw an Evo chamber and at least one spore crawler blind every single mm -hmm. ZVP. And after that happened, Protoss players started to shy away from the Dark Templar tech, and it really was only maybe a month or two ago that we started seeing it more and more in uh, pro play in Korea. 
And Hyun on 53 drones is starting to put down his uh, structures. So he's been getting gas for a little while now, but not too terribly long. So it was a little bit later. He decided to take some more drones, play a bit more economical. Mm -hmm. So we can see he's going up to four gas a little bit faster than he did last time. So we can catch up with all of his relevant upgrades. But uh, his economy is well along, but he is certainly going to need some detection here in a second. One kind of cool thing about how Hyun plays is he always takes his gas at the natural and the third. He never takes them in his main. And I like that a lot. I mean, there's a couple different reasons you could kind of theorize that he does that. One of the ones that uh, springs to mind immediately is that if you come under attack from warp prism play, you're not going to lose half your gas income by losing your main base. So there's there's kind of there's actually a legitimate advantage, I feel, to taking your gas at your, thir at your second and third. And it's cool to see a player do that exclusively. I've always liked, oh, hey, that was fixed. We fixed that what? bug. I just oh, selected right. Automaton. Yes. Okay, so guys. High five. Yes. Cool. All right. Okay, we're, we're going to mention it. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second, but that legitimately makes me happy. It looks like Hyun is going to be able to drive away we this little bit of gateway pressure, but that uh -oh. allows DTs into the third uh, down here. That hatchery might just die. I don't know if Hyun can get any detection there in time. He's got a, a overseers being made right now, but they've oh, got to fly down gonna, quick. It's not going to get there. That hatchery There's is dead. Oh, and that is a huge pain for Hyun. Yeah. Goodbye, bye bye. hatchery. DT's just paid for themselves there, taking out that Absolutely. hatchery. Yeah. So anyway, so we found a bug in the StarCraft client that if you select a bunch of units and a neutral creep when you're in observer or mode. Or destructible rocks. Or destructible rocks, and you do control shift F or follow the units or whatever, it'll actually go to the uh, to the neutral creep or the destructible rocks because yeah. of the way the priority system is set up. All of the active units get shifted to zero, but that was lower than the uh, than these were. So we brought it up in a meeting we had with Blizzard, and they were like, well, that shouldn't be that's a bug and we're like no it happens and it's fixed now so that's right thanks boom. blizzard thanks for fixing your bugs we appreciate it somewhere that uh, appreciate the, it. the ui designer we talked to is is uh, is happy he's, so. he's high-fiving himself which looks, looks kind of like a clap only it's yes. only once and much more enthusiastic and above your head has to be above your head so that's right well that's it i just demonstrated it for you yeah well done no, i've got it. it no i mean that's well, I now know what it looks like. Hyun's going for drop play again, it looks like, and I feel like he feels that he was forced into it at this point for after losing that third base. He's kind of waiting to see, too, though, if Squirtle's going to try to take a third. If Squirtle doesn't take a third, if he just keeps making immortals and getting upgrades, it's going to be tough for that drop play to work. It generally works a little bit better if, in this situation. If your opponent takes a third, you can get them when they're out of position here. And so we'll we'll see what happens. I mean, another thing that Hyun could do is try to buy time with it as well. I got he doesn't. I, I suppose he doesn't really need to drop everything, you know, in one place. He can yeah. go for smaller drops too, which isn't done very often, but it is an option. But we'll have to see what he decides. There we go. He's catching that Dark Templar. Nice yep. to get rid of that expensive unit. DT finally goes away, and Hyun does have yep. his third base back again, taking his fourth in the pocket expansion out in front as well. A little harder mm -hmm. to defend there, but he has already spread the creep to it, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue for him. Yeah. Swinging around to the third, though, with a few units, and uh, he's going to try and get a deny there, but no, already enough units in position for Squirtle to push that away. Man, I really like this. Drops with a fourth. That's such a great... I think that's a really, really cool way to play this matchup. I wonder how popular it's actually going to get. Oh, that was just the most unfortunate Roach and Zergling. <laughs> Everyone yeah. else got away but them. That's They're right. like the kids that finished last in the track meet, and they get the participation ribbon. Oh, God. It's, it's pink, so you don't even like – you'd rather not have a ribbon at that point than be a sixth-grade boy and get a pink ribbon in a track meet. Fourth grade it's not that I'm speaking from experience champion, or anything. by the way. Um, really? Oh, wow. Yeah, I beat the That's fifth good. graders at long-distance kickball kicking. I so. have the standing long jump record in my junior high. Nice. Yes. Well That's, done. And that skill has been so valuable <laughs> oh, I throughout can tell. my adult no, life. No, kickballs clearly come back many times <laughs> as, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that right. uh, overseer finally getting to get picked off. It was just staring at the observer for a while. It's like, I can see you. I can't do anything about this, but mm -hmm. I can see you. I'm waiting for that to get added to my Liquipedia page. Oh, <laughs> uh, that Templar is just like, I'm in a sea of kills. I'm going to be an executor in no time. Uh, uh, and he's poor dead. guy. Oh, well, well Nubitized Carapace is finished up for these overlords and uh, Ventral Sacks as well. So they're going to load up with a lot of units and make their way in. That and Squirtle's are. already got a few units in position. He does, but he doesn't have a lot of anti-air here. A few stalkers, but not enough to really kill most of a drop as it comes over. But I don't know how this, I don't know if this is a good idea from Hyun. That's still a lot of immortals to handle those roaches. Great micro by Squirtle. Pulling back, not letting himself be dropped on. Yeah, he's, uh, and Hyun was trying to play patient there to drop his units directly on top 
off of Squirtle, like and he finally has him into a little corner off to the left-hand side. Ooh. We'll see if that's going to be enough for Hyun to punish this army. I actually I can't you know, see this no army. Blink. There's no blink. The Immortals are going down. The Overlords are actually soaking damage. You can see the Stalkers in the back shooting at the Overlords. But is it enough roaches? There we go. He does actually blink away. But he has lost quite a bit. 170 supply to just 88. Can Hyun turn this advantage into a win, though? Yeah, he's just going to keep pushing ahead with more roaches for the moment. Uh, obviously, he's a little bit back on tech, and he's just going to go ahead and keep it that way. Um, and he is taking out a couple of warp gates here, but of course, Squirtle's lost enough economy that his uh, production won't be the best anyway. Oh, nice mm -hmm. job targeting the Cybernetic Core up in the front. Squirtle yeah. actually has to respond to that very quickly. Well, he's trying to bring as many reinforcements as he can very quickly. He's still letting the Overlords hang around there to take damage. The Cyber Core goes down, gets taken out. Those cannons are not long for this world as well. Oh, unless he leaves them alive. There we go. Yeah. Taking those down. So Hyun's knocked those out. He can pretty easily uh, segment off the third base if he wants to. Yeah. Um, Hyun is taking a little bit of damage here. He can't just charge headlong into this. A couple of Immortals and a few Stalkers are enough to hold back a very large wave of Roaches. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, is that if he wants to keep attacking here, he has to know without a doubt that he can win that War of Attrition. I mean, he set himself up for trying that. He broke down the destructible rocks and everything. But I think we're going to see him pull back and be a little bit less aggressive for a short time here because he's not quite in that position yet where he can just keep attacking and keep swarming and eventually just overrun his opponent. He's close, but he's, he knows he's not quite there yet, so he's just waiting a little bit longer. TT picked off a couple more kills there. Uh, those TTs have certainly proven to be worth it over the course yeah. of this game. Looks like Hyun going to get you himself know. a little bit better position here, taking these destructible debris out. No sentries, really, in the army of Squirtle. He's not going to be able to do any sort of positioning no with this. Yeah, no cyber core, so Finally he's not going to be back. able to make that. Yeah, he's getting his plus three weapons as well, but Hyun has a huge army, three overseers there, so DT shouldn't be as much of a factor. Oh, he takes out the forge as well and i don't know if squirtle has enough to handle this it doesn't look like it wow one immortal goes down very quickly the other one is doing some damage blink, up in the front as well and finally this immortal is going to be taken out but just a handful of blink stalkers against this many charge lots yeah I, i'm sorry not charge lots but speedlings <laughs> and the uh, roaches charge coming too, through so that's going to be very difficult for squirtle to hold if he was fighting blink stalker versus charge lot it wouldn't <laughs> go much better either robo bay getting very low and hyun just attacking on all fronts right now yeah, looks like Robotics Utility does finish up one Immortal. That's going to do basically nothing. It's two kills. To take yes. out a Roach, and that's going to be about all. Three kills. Oh, well, not being targeted down. It's actually de wow. dealing all out right. a little bit of damage there. But look at the number of speedlings that have come in behind now. Yeah, Workers that killed. Helps. That's a lot. Yeah, I think uh, Hyun should have enough to just eventually end this game. There is a DT. Was a DT, rather, kill. in the main. In the main. Yeah, he did a little bit of damage, but... Hyun's got that kind of overwhelming majority right now. It's 150 supply about to around 75 for Squirtle. And he's even corrupting the gateway. He wants to make sure that Squirtle can warp in as few units as possible here. Yeah, good heads up play. He's got enough overseer sitting overhead that he yep. picks off these structures just one at a time. Very nice. Um, Squirtle trying to back his way out now with as many units as he has, but he's almost down by 100 supply now. He's got a very mm. defensible third base, yes, with good economy going there, but still going to be very difficult to try and get anything done, especially with the way that the uh, units are just continue to be swarmed in. Yeah, he needs to kill that Nexus that he's killing right now, then he needs to head to the third. It looks like he wants to just head into the main and try to end it, but if he can get to the third base and stop the mining there, then that'll just stop Squirtle cold. He won't be able to make anything at all, and then Hyun will just be able to kind of use his economy. Cybercore goes down again, and Squirtle, I think we're going to see a GG soon. I think we're going to see a tie series. Looks like it. Hyun playing very, very well in this game. Uh, Squirtle just not really able to fight back that aggression, um, and it looks like his last few units are going to go down here. Nowhere mm -hmm. else for them to blink. A few zealots <laughs> being brought in now, but uh, there's just so many roaches here. You just blink into space and just kind of float around after this or something. I don't know. Not a lot of stalkers left. The unit counting station will probably corroborate that. Yeah, it's getting that pylon too. So I love that. Yeah, that's, that's that's like that's a, that's a pretty good BM maneuver. You can't actually you know drop down any mule, mules or anything like that. So yep. And that is going to be about it for those stalkers. The overseers staying alive. GG and Hyun ties things up one one. There we 